The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Cloth and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. LaValley Building Supplies, for home improvement and construction, from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. And by Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. As we start the fourth quarter here, we've got a great matchup. Thetford Academy leading 50 to 46 over Windsor. Stolen away and Thetford will look to add to their lead. Our next YCN Monday Night High School Game of the Week will feature the Lebanon Raiders traveling to Merrimack Valley to take on the Pride. Game of the Week premieres at, at 8 p.m. on Wednesday nights. Check your TV schedule for additional airings. And the inside take by Ben Meager, number 13. Nice authority there inside. And it's a two-point game. So we've had a pretty close game, Andrew, the whole way. It looked like at one point Windsor was going to extend their lead. But Thetford came all the way back. And then that third quarter, Thetford, it looked like the tide turned. And they had a, a good command of this game. But Windsor doesn't, doesn't quit either. Yeah, there's been some good defense and some turnovers. But for the most part, both of these teams really shooting very well doing a lot of good things. Thetford hitting a lot of late threes. So both of these teams shooting at a very high level. And just as you say that, number 13, Dylan Thorburn with the pull up jumper just inside the free throw line. And that's gonna be an offensive foul. You can see that one all the way. Connor Brown had his feet set. And I think that's a great call by the officials there. Yeah, and that's uh, Dakota Page's fourth foul. He's got to be careful. They definitely need him in this game. But Windsor will continue with that full court pressure. Leopard Academy has had some trouble breaking the press, but a quick reach-in foul, A.J. Wood. Kind of asking the refs, what did I do there? This, these refs are calling this one pretty tight. That'll be a... Windsor's sixth, so the next one will put Thetford in the bonus. Stay tuned at the end of our telecast for the HR Clough Kearsarge Heating turning up the heat player of the game. And we'll pick the top performer in tonight's matchup. Thetford Academy with the four point lead and the ball, six and a half to go here in the fourth quarter. No one has really taken over this game, both teams Shooting well, playing some good defense, opportune baskets, and there's a nice three-point attempt. Doesn't get it to fall, but offensive rebound, and the Panthers will set up their offense again. The way Thetford's been shooting the three lately, it's, I really expect everything to fall for them. That one doesn't go, but another offensive rebound, and that's the other key that they've been getting some offensive rebounds, and you give a team like Thetford three chances, they should capitalize on one of them. But a little too aggressive on the drive there by Nick Moses. He throws it away and Windsor is coming the other way. And a Windsor team who last year with a lot of seniors would move the ball quickly. This year that seems Ooh. like they'll be content to set up and take a shot. And there's number 12, Duncan Frazier, getting it to go from three-point distance, cutting into that lead. It's a one-point lead now. And we've got a timeout before the inbounds pass. So we'll have a timeout with 5.18 to go here in the game. Windsor trailing 51 to 52. We'll be right back. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide here in Thetford, Vermont, where Thetford Academy leads Windsor 52 to 51, 518 to go in the fourth quarter. Our replays are being brought to you by Casasa. Free checking that rewards in cash each month. Ask for Casasa at Claremont Savings Bank. Qualifications and rules apply. See bank for details. Member FDIC. And a violation, turnover. Looked like maybe the Thetford Academy player stepped on the line when he was inbound, inbounding the ball. So either way, Windsor will take over. Only down one. Oh, 
Oh, nice pass. Yeah, nice, nicely done inside to Meager, but blocked away. But they're going to call a foul on that. Looked like it was a lot of ball, but the refs saw it otherwise. Then they'll call the foul. Two shots for Ben Meager. 5.05 to play here in the fourth quarter. Stay tuned at the end of today's Hoops matchup for the Ramontos Brick Oven Pizza Play Pick of the Game. Ramontos Pizza, always fresh. So the first one up and no good from Meager. He'll go for a second here. And he gets it to go. Tie game as we are just about five minutes from the completion of regulation. Tied up 52 all. And this one is anybody's game right now. Who's going to get hot? Who's going to make their free throws? It's all going to come down to the last five minutes. Three-point attempt is long. Wins it with the rebound. Push it ahead, try and get something in transition. They don't get anything, so they'll pull it back out and reset the offense. Swing the ball around the perimeter until they can get a man open. And they get it inside, but then Meager travels and turns it back over to the Panthers. So now inbounding is Owen Defner. Called his name a few times. He had a good first half. It's been kind of quiet this second half, but here's a nice outlet pass to Brown. And number 14, wow. Connor Brown from Defner. He gets it to go. And Bedford Academy with the lead. Turnover there, a little aggressive. Seth Balls with the foul. So that last play there, the long bounce from Defner to Brown. Another nominee for the play of the game. Nice job by Thetford breaking the full court press. Had some trouble with that earlier in the game. Yeah, kind of in the third quarter. It seemed like they had a handle on it for most of the entire first half. And then that third quarter, Windsor came out of the locker room with some trickery, was able to, were able to trap Thetford, but then they've now figured out something themselves. And Ooh. here's a nice cut. Number 14, Connor Brown with a spin. And they... Add another play to the highlight reel. Up 56-52. Shot no good, nice offensive rebound. Oh. Putbacks no good, rebounded by Thetford Academy, but oh. then thrown away and Windsor will take possession. Three pointer just a little short. Loose ball foul in the back. And I believe that's going to go against Windsor, so that'll be one and one for the Panthers. Yeah, we talked about this earlier. Windsor really needs to limit their fouls. Clearly in the one and one bonus right now. But uh, that's really gonna be the dagger for the Yellow Jackets. Need to play good solid defense, no fouling. So we have a timeout on the floor with 322. We'll keep it right here as Thetford leading 56 to 52, and Andrew, we've got uh, quite a few nominations for our, our play of the game. We have uh, a lot of good action in this game. It's been a very exciting back and forth, some good plays, good shots, good defense, and uh, it's going to come down in this last 322. Yeah, this game has really been a lot of uh, high-quality play, and both teams shooting the ball very well, but uh, the first play I can think of that could be a nominee for the uh, Ramontos Brick Oven Pizza Pie play of the game would be uh, Defner. He uh, blocked Windsor's big Stapleton and then ran down and made transition, nailed a three-pointer, really changed the game, gave Thetford a lot of momentum. And then in the third quarter, as we opened the third quarter, a lot of scoring there by Windsor. One of them was a steal by Seth Ball. It's on the inbounds, and then he put it back up to get the basket. Windsor taking a big lead in the third quarter, and then a couple nice plays here in the fourth quarter for the Panthers have given them the four-point lead as they look to extend it 
one and one, Defner at the line. Defner's first shot is up, no good. It's the front of the rim and rebounded by Seth Balch. He'll run it out. Runs are down four, every possession very important here. Don't want to let Thetford get too far ahead because they do shoot free throws pretty decently. Nice turnaround jumper there by Meager. No good, and Thetford gets the rebound and they'll set their offense up. Nice jumper there, number 13, Thorburn. He's had a good game, giving the Panthers a six-point lead. Three-pointer from the corner is no good. And the rebound by Connor Brown, immediately fouled by Balch. And Brown will go to the line. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerheide as Connor Brown for Thetford Academy is at the line shooting one and one. He gets his first one to go and the Panthers now lead 59 to 52. I'm not sure, but this may be their largest lead of the game. As it had been a close game almost the entire way and now Thetford looking to pull away, missing the second one and Windsor with a chance here, two and a half minutes to go in this one. And they get it inside nicely to number 13, Ben Meager. He gets it to go, cutting that lead to five. Coach Ledoux wants a timeout. We'll take one as well with Thetford leading Windsor 59 to 54. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. The final 229 here from Thetford, Vermont, where Thetford Academy leads Windsor 59-54. And the Panthers are able to inbound it and advance it over half court. That's been one of the problems, that full court trap. But you see Windsor aggressive on the defensive side and looks like it'll be a timeout before anything. So we'll keep it, it's gonna be a full timeout. So we'll take a break as well. Windsor trails 59 to 54, 214 to go here. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide. Oh. Inbounds pass by Thetford Academy is intercepted and all the way down the other end, no good, but Windsor gets their own rebound and they'll Try again, shot no good, tipped, rebounded by the Yellow Jackets again. Three point Ooh, attempt, this wow. one's good. Number 21 with the three, Dakota Page. Wow. And he gets it to go. So just like that, Windsor has cut it to a two point game. Got a 30 second timeout on the floor, we'll keep it right here. All right, Andrew, re game reset here. 156 to go in the game. Windsor trailing by two, Thetford Academy ball. If you're coach Harry Ledoux, what are you telling your Windsor team to help them get back in this and, and what's worked for them so far in this half? Well, they can't foul. You know, I think they need to keep up the pressure. They've had a lot of steals. They've intercepted a lot of passes, um, but they can't foul. You know, you need to be aggressive, but you need to be play smart, aggressive basketball because uh, another foul is clearly the double bonus. You get two free, free throws, so, um, you know, keep up the aggressiveness, but no fouls. And that full court pressure has worked well for Windsor. So Thetford Academy gets the inbounds and they'll they are able to advance it. And a drive to the hoop, no good. Ooh. Rebounded by Windsor and they will keep possession oh, for a minute no. and then stolen away. It should have been a back court because he looked like he had possession. Yeah. Connor Brown had possession in the front court, tossed it behind him, and now stolen back by Windsor. Wow. Windsor gets it up and blocked by Brown. But they're going to be calling a foul on that play, and now Robert Slocum will go to the line and shoot two. Yeah, I think that was probably a good call by the refs, but the refs have made a lot of... Bad no calls here tonight because that was absolutely backcourt violation. I guess, I guess maybe they thought he never established right. his 
possession, possession in the front court, so he just tossed it up, but it clearly looked like he had come down with the ball mm -hmm. and then threw it. But either way, Windsor ball and shooting free throws. They missed the first one. Trailing by two, 59-57, 129 to play. Second free throw is up and no good. Tipped away and it's going to stay Windsor ball. So they'll have the ball inbounds with two, with 128 to go, down by two. Windsor needs to score here. Tie this game up. Possibly take the lead. As Windsor will do, they'll move the ball around the perimeter and try and get an open look. And there's that open look, but a little offline from Duncan Frazier. It's no Ooh. good, and the foul I don't know. on Brown. And there, once again, we, we see that really tight foul. Yeah, to me, it looked like the three Windsor defenders had their feet set. And uh, number 14 for Thetford, Brown, just kind of plowed through them. Maybe their feet were moving. Maybe I didn't see it, but kind of an iffy foul call right there. Well, and sometimes it's better to just have a no call and let the play develop. And if the run, if the player falls down, it's a travel. If right, but clearly the refs were. Oh, and and Dakota Page just fouled out of the game. Okay, so that was his fifth. Yes, they gave it to Page. So Brown's first one is up and good. So Dakota Page fouling out. You'll have to get us the totals. He he had a decent night. It, it wasn't outstanding. Uh, they kind of spread the ball around, but. But his fifth foul, he's out for the last minute, seven seconds. Yeah, I believe he had 13 points in this game. A couple of three-pointers. They definitely needed his shooting ability for the end of this game. But let's see if Windsor can pull this one out. Let's see if the Panthers can hang on to this lead. We are inside one minute. Windsor trailing by four with the ball. They'll get the drive. No good. And a rebound by the Panthers. Looks like... Baltz wanted the tie-up call, but instead they'll go with the foul call, and number 12, Noah Perry, will be at the line to shoot two. Yeah, and this is what we've talked about multiple times tonight. Windsor just, you know, they might have gotten a couple of bad foul calls called against them, but they continue to foul, keep putting Thetford to the line for a couple of easy points. And the first free throw is up, no good, so only a four point game. 51.9 seconds to go in this one, and plenty of time if you're Windsor, the way they can shoot the ball, as long as they get the rebound, which they do, and this is Ben Meager with the rebound. He'll drive down and get somebody open, swing the ball around, and foul call. So it was not in the act of shooting, so it'll just be inbounding the ball, but it is the sixth foul for Thetford Academy. So the next one is one and one if it's not in the act of shooting. Pass inside, looks like it was forced and yeah, intercepted. Have to foul now. Oh! And a steal, nicely done there wow. by number 12, Duncan Frazier on the steal. And he smartly puts it in for the layup. 61-59, so Windsor only down two. 27 seconds to go, we'll take our final break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Final 27 seconds here, Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zurheide, where Thetford Academy leads 61-59 to over Windsor. Ooh, nice press break. And immediately wrapped up is Number 12, Noah Perry, he will go to the line, shoot a pair. Coach Jason Gray will call off his team. They don't need to get a foul on the missed free throw, and they don't really want to let up a transition bucket. First free throw is up, no good, so now even with a make, Windsor still has a chance to tie. If Perry were to miss, Windsor obviously could tie or take the lead. Second one is up, and good. So, Windsor down by three, 20 seconds to go. See what they call here, do they wanna 
quick two and then a foul, or will they go for the three to tie it up? Moving the ball around. Trying to get somebody open. They're, looking, time. they're trying to get it to Balch, but he is covered every time he gets the ball, so they got to kick it out. Ooh. And then they have to call a timeout. Only 2.7 seconds to go. Well, clearly, Andrew, they were looking to get it to Balch. He mm -hmm. was the guy. He looks like he's going to take the shot, but now you've got a, only 2.7 seconds left. For sure, they're going to leave the let the inbounder uh, stay uncovered and double-team Balch. They so have to deny Balch the ball here. Right, yeah, nice job by the Panthers of uh, Ding up Balch. And, yeah, the Windsor will definitely be trying to get the ball to Balch. You know, it's really it's basically going to be a catch and shoot. Uh, you know, you can take one or two dribbles, but for the most part, it's going to be a quitty, uh, pretty quick shot. So it's going to be tough for Balch. But uh, if Windsor draws up the right play, maybe they can get him a little bit of space. It's going to be a uh, – I mean, it's already a nail-biter, but – so Balls, Balls is the leading scorer mm -hmm. for Windsor. Who's the second leading scorer who they might be looking to get get it to? Obviously, Dakota Page not in the game. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was Dakota Page, but, uh, I mean, A.J. Frazier? Wood uh, and Frazier, they've both hit some threes. So either Frazier or Wood would be their backup option. And Wood is the inbounder, so he won't he won't be getting it. But right. maybe they, somebody's going to come off a screen here, and here we go. Last 2.7 seconds. Inbound goes to Frazier. The three-pointer is up, oh. and it is just off. And they did get it to Duncan Frazier, as we expected. He had a clean look just a little bit long off the backboard and couldn't get the bank shot to fall. So Bedford Academy wins it. They hold on 62 to 59. And I don't know if we have any totals we have the player of the game and the play of the game he yeah, absolutely at uh, number 13 uh, number 13 Dylan Thorburn for Thetford he put in 20 points tonight and he stayed out of foul trouble only had one foul he was big on the boards a lot of nice defense so Thorburn is definitely the uh, Kearsarge heating turning up the heat player of the game and you know we had a number of uh, Ramonto's brick oven pizza pie plays of the game and uh, you know there were a lot. There were some more toward the end of the game, but um, to me, I think it still goes to uh, Defner with his block over Winters' big Stapleton. That was a big block. They shut him down, and then he, in transition, he runs down the other side, and Defner nails a three-pointer. Really put Thetford back in this game. To me, that's the Ramonto's pizza pie play of the game. So an exciting game here from Thetford, Vermont, where the. Thetford Academy Panthers hold on and beat the Windsor Yellow Jackets 62 to 59 thanks to Greg and Alex. For Andrew Zerheid, I'm Jeremy Stout. You've been watching the YCN Game of the Week. The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Lavalley Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Ramonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. And by Casasa, free checking that pays. Now available at Claremont Savings Bank.